Shalom. <clears throat> Brother Kabad, back in the GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing before I go any further. They give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, the honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching us his truth according to the Bible and root well. Another Shalom, not a sincere Akim. <clears throat> to the four coins of the earth, pushing his truth through diligence and sincerity and charity. And not shall one, all you sincere followers, believers of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, not just hears of the word, but doers as well. You men, women, and children, hopefully, like Shalom, came across this article on Bitcoin.com. It says, Economist Peter Schiff <coughs> warns all banks will fail. People will suffer massive losses as banking crisis unfold. And, um, you know, a lot of our people are, uh, bamboozle <laughs> okay with the fact that they believe that money is, is, is the answer to all things and that money can save uh <clears throat> in the time of trouble now the scriptures say money is a defense but um in these times that we're living in you can't pay off or at, at any point all right you can't pay off uh the wrath of the lord man all right, I'm not quite sure I'm going to title this lesson, <clears throat> but um, we're going to bring out this precept. <clears throat> this is what I thought about when I um, saw this article, and we're going to go from here. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This is Proverbs 11 and 4. It says, Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. And the NLT riches won't help on the day of judgment <clears throat> but right living can save you from death yeah the right way can save you from deletion <clears throat> so it says i don't know how much of this i'm going to read but it says um peter schiff warns about all banking all banks failing economist and gold bug peter schiff retired his Reiterated, sorry, his concerns regarding the state of the U.S. economy and the impending bank crisis on the David Lynch show published last week. It says the whole banking sector is completely insolvent. Thanks to what we have done over the last decade or so by loading up these banks with all this long term, low yielding debt. And, 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 and that's America for you. All right. That's, that's Esau. Okay, that that clay, <clears throat> that, that that debt that this man has uh, occurred, it says, and we have had all this deposit insurance, so no one really cared about what the banks were doing with their money because it is all insured by the government. Shift described. However, he stressed that the collapse of major banks earlier this year have made people aware that the government may not fully cover all bank deposits. In the event of a failure, especially if the amount exceeds FDIC insurance limit, the message that sends is if you're a customer of a small bank, <clears throat> a regional bank or a community bank, and you've got and you've got a large account, you just better get your money out. And there's no reason to leave it. Leave it there. They can't pay you enough interest to compete with a money market. And what if the banks fail you may be you may you may be you know s-o-l all right we all know what that means <clears throat> shift uh detail continuing so there's a huge run on these banks they're all going to fail and you know all the athletes the entertainers the ones of our people who uh who you know rely on money as a, a defense is not going to deliver them in these days because it's we're living in the times of the lord grand opening and, and really grand closing america and he's picking this place apart bit by bit as the scriptures say <clears throat> let's get that in um <clears throat> jeremiah uh this place cannot be healed <clears throat> Uh, 
see how far down I want to go. I think I might go to 9. <clears throat> uh, Jeremiah 51. <clears throat> and um, I'll start at... Uh, I'll start at 8. It says, Jeremiah 51 and 8, it says, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take bomb for her. Pain, if so, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. For her judgment reach up unto heaven and is lifted up <clears throat> to the skies. In the NLT, Jeremiah 51 8. But suddenly Babylon too has fallen and weep for her. Give her medicine. Perhaps she can be healed. And we know that this place cannot be healed because of prophecy. Okay. Because of prophecy. The Lord told us in the book of Job that the Lord, the Lord said he set bounds that Esau eat him. All right. This man, he, he cannot pass. There's a, there's a time and date on this man's rulership. And you're starting to see it <clears throat> disintegrate before your very eyes. It says, um, ultimately, because Yahweh Bashim Shai wants to bring in that, that sea hip. Okay. Verse 9, it says, we would have healed her if we could, but nothing can save her now. Let us let her go. Abandon her. And that's what we're telling our people. Abandon, ab abandon ship. Abandon this place. Okay. You, you stacking up riches and, you know, putting your trust in this place to continue to go on. We're letting you know, man. Hey, look, the boat's going down, man. Okay. The boat is going down. And it's time, it's time to hop on the ship of your house by Shemal Shai, man. And store up treasures in heaven. Where neither moth nor rust do corrupt. And what these don't break through and st still, as the scriptures say, Lord, we'll get that next. It says, Return now unto your own land, for a punishment reaches the heavens. It is so great it cannot be measured. That's right, man. <clears throat> and the wickedness of this place uh, uh, it is great. All right. And that's why you see a lot of these heathens uh, flee in America, man. <clears throat> A lot of these heathens feel flee in America. They can't make the money they, they once did before. Okay. The American dollar is not worth anything. Everyone wants to go back to a, a, a gold standard. <clears throat> yeah, Esau said, no, the dollar is still strong. It's going to it's gonna uh, uh, come through in these tough times. It's going gonna, it's gonna to prevail. Yeah, okay. All right. And we're seeing the fall of it. <clears throat> and it's ultimately um, going to usher in the NWO. All right. All roads lead to this right here. Revelation 13. You know, I'm more willing this lesson is edifying. Um, you know, a lot of my lessons just be, you know, one precept and let the spirit do what it does. <clears throat> This is uh, Revelation 13 and 16 in the NLT. It says he required everyone, small and great, everyone, everyone, rich and poor, free and slave, to be given a mark. All right, the Karagma, Strong G 5480, that incision, that impalement. Okay, which. You know, if you been, haven't been living up under a rock, all right, you would know what we're talking about. <clears throat> the new form of payment, okay? It says the, on the right hand or on the forehead. And you've seen Elon Musk with these, uh, you know, um, C-hip trials on animals. Now he's uh, been approved to do it on humans. So this is where all these things are going, man. And the prudent man foreseeth the evil and what he hideth himself in the scriptures. Starting with the names, the true names of the heavenly father, his only begotten son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Verse 17. And that no man, and that no one could buy or sell anything without that mark. Which was neither the name of the beast or the number of uh representing his name okay 
so if you're if you if if you if you uh if you get down <clears throat> if you don't get down with this man's program okay you would not be able to participate in society and it's, it's coming out more evident every day what all roads are leading to all right a cashless society and everything um you know wallets identification all these things are going to be on a, a grain of rice a, a c hip okay that's why you see the money the banks everything's failing because all roads are going to lead there so you know we got to pray that yahweh bashmir shall protect us and keeps us from this hour of temptation which is going to come upon all the world to try them all right shalom